Well, it's always ringed in red, the date for the final of this competition, the final of the Emirates FA Cup, watched all around the world, and it's our privilege to watch it too. Alan, isn't it? It is, and always sends a shiver down the spine. It really does. It's the most famous cup competition in the world, and really looking forward to it. The game today, Liverpool against Tottenham. Fabinho. Number 14, Jordan Henderson. Number 9, Roberto Firmino. And number 11, Mohamed Salah. This is the Liverpool side. Adrian starts in goal. John Matip starts with Virgil van Dijk at the back. And just one out and out attacker in the lineup. One change. Ugolani starts in goal. Toby Aldevarel starts alongside Mark Bartra in the heart of defence. Christian Eriksen plays with Deli Alley in the centre of the park. Lucas starts up top with Harry Kane. Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game. Salah. I think the wide man's got a chance here. There's space out near the touchline. I think the cross is on. He's going to try his luck. That's another page in the history of this wonderful competition. It's the opening goal of this FA Cup final. Well, didn't he take it well? That was superbly finished. Look at the fans as well. They think that might be the winner. He took a chance to get in there, and the ball just fell perfectly for him. Couldn't miss from there. No, he couldn't, point blank effort. But uh, you have got to be in the positions, haven't you, to miss them? The old saying goes true. He's not the easiest of managers to work for, I know that. But these players are doing what he demanded beforehand now. Roberto for me. Place to try and hit it now. It's in. Fine moment for them. They've got a firmer grip on the game now. They're two ahead. He will say he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he couldn't miss it. Well, a lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was, but I think in this instance you can't blame him. Oh, he's loving it, the manager. He's seeing his team playing really well, just what he was asking for. Corner's taken. Defender did well to get to it, but hasn't really finished the job. Could pull one back here. That is one of the great saves. Had no right to stop that. Had no right to get a hand on it. What a stop. Mohamed Salah. Jordan Henderson. cut it back now that's a very good goal well he's not far out but you've got to be on your toes in these circumstances and he was for Liverpool it is looking pretty much now that the victory is assured oh, it's an enviable situation for them should be home and host well it's a goal worth replaying over and over again isn't it
Corner swung in. Superb work to reach that great technique and great belief to feel that he could stop the goal. We all love looking at goals, Martin, but there's something special about a defender showing those kind of defensive instincts. And still, and here's the shot. And that is quite a wild effort at goal, although he got good contact on the ball. Wembley Stadium. The losing team have good vision here. In with a chance. Roberto shots off. Three minutes from the referee by the fourth official. That's the decision regarding added time. Oh, that's such a classy goal. Well, I didn't see it as being as one-sided as it's turned out, Martin, but uh, yet another goal and a good one too here in stoppage time. It's another late goal to emphasise the gulf between the two sides today. Yeah, and it's been that type of match. I think everybody out there, the strikers particularly, want to increase the goal tallies, and they've done it. Victor Waniyama, Eriksson. Deli Alley. On to Christian Eriksson. They've set it up well for the cross. Helped on by the header. He's got his shot off now. And a goal! Uh, disappointing, but at least a little handshake to celebrate it. I think that's what you call a consolation goal, Martin. Nothing more than that. Well, they've kept on going here to their credit. It's only a consolation, probably. But uh, they have scored probably the last goal of the game. Yeah, not their day, it seems. Not been at the best here today. We'll have to move on. and that confirms what we've been knowing for some time that they are the champions Alan yeah absolute joy amongst those players they've worked long and hard haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so and boy they deserve it these are special moments for a very successful team congratulations to them most famous domestic club competition in the world the oldest still widely celebrated and to go up to collect the FA Cup Alan you've done it now it's a magnificent feeling and these players I think defensively they owe those defenders a, a big pat on the back because their success has been based on that the FA Cup winners going over to their supporters now and they're still together in the celebrations as they have been through the season yeah you do get the feeling with these boys they are a proper unit there's really good team spirit within that dressing room which you need for any successful club these have certainly been that You have to have the team photo and they're getting ready for it now yeah one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home 